Welcome back. We're at SEMA in Las Vegas 2021. Mike's back out again. And uh, we are going to walk around Mike. the, what is this, West Hall, Mike? Uh, West, West the West Hall. Hall. That's the West, the Hall. West Hall. And I noticed that there was a whole bunch of vehicles out in the parking lot. So we're just going to walk around this area and take a look. All right, so some of you guys have been saying there's way too many Tacomas at SEMA. What about the other vehicles? Well, here's another vehicle right here. It's a beautiful Ford Ranger. This is, uh, I don't know what color this is. I guess it's, it's obviously gray, but I don't know what they officially call it. It's beautiful. Look at that. T-Rex grill. Pro Mod Bumper by Weston. It's actually kind of nice. Rough Country suspension. I got a lift kit. I like these wheels. Very nice. Very nice. That's a beautiful truck. But it's at that point where, again, with my own journey, it's like kind of ready to step up. If there's one thing I've learned with SEMA this year is that Broncos are everywhere. And I gotta admit, they are nice. This is the Wild Track Bronco, you can see right here. Wild Track Edition, there's a bunch of different editions. That's nice. Then here's a, another Gladiator, there's lots of Gladiators out here too. I like the fact that you can put 35s on these gladiators without lifting it. Even though this one I think is lifted. It's got a little adventure trailer on the back. That probably comes in handy for all your gear. Oh, he's got a tent and a tent. He's got two tents. This is a beautiful gladiator. I like that color. I don't know what this is considered. Maybe gunmetal gray, maybe? Stubby bumper with a little stinger, like a stinger bar up here. Yes, I touched it, I know. Warren Winch. Oh, Dana. Dana Axles. I used to uh, work for Dana back in the old days. Fat Thor. <laughs> this is called the Fat Thor Gladiator. Oh, I like this rack. It's got a Pelican case on here. These little steps make a big difference. Instead of having a step built in that you flip down, you can just step right on there. I like that. I like these gladiators. I just wish they had uh, bigger motors. Or turbos, like twin turbos. That'd be awesome. Look at this. It's a 2015 Ram 3500. They had a $20,000 budget. I think they did pretty good. $20,000 budget. Usually these things are like $150,000. That is not bad. They got the reliability of a Cummins turbo diesel and the power of a Cummins with the four season composite camper on the back. It's nice. It's called Ambition Strikes. Very cool. All right, so quiz time here at SEMA. If you can name every one of these vehicles, like what brand and model they are, you get some serious brownie points. So let's fly around and see if you can name all these vehicles. Look at that. 
any clues if you were born and raised in the 70s and 80s you might know this one right away for you youngsters out there you probably have no idea what this is that's pretty cool all right all you military guys what is this <laughs> There's one. What do you think that is? By the way, that's a Chia Pet. That's actual Chia Pet, whatever that stuff is, and they watered it. What about this one? You know what that is? Pizza cutters. Remember, you ever heard the term pizza cutters? Well, here you go. They actually made a pizza cutter. <laughs> 54 inch wheels with the uh, 80 inch tall rubber that's crazy what about this one here's a hard one for some of you guys older guys you'll probably get this one young guys are like what I have no idea what that is if you're a 70s or 80s kid you already know what this is this is a clue right here AMC. They put a five liter V8 in this thing. And everybody knows this one. But this one's lifted. <laughs> Normally this is two wheel drive. They converted it to four wheel drive. All right. Leave a comment below on what each vehicle is. By the way, this is an electric vehicle with a 3,000 pound payload Tom car. Four wheel drive electric, 60,000 bucks if you want one. Let's walk through the Ford booth. Let's take a look. First time seeing the Maverick. Super crew. E. Oh, 
Ranger. The new Raptor. Oh wait, no, it's just a Ford F-150. There's the new Lightning F-150 yeah. Platinum Lightning, fully electric F-150. There's the front. That's nice. There's a dually. And lastly, a Maverick. Check out that, I think it's a Scout. Yeah, it is a Scout, a Scout too. There you go. And here's a Colorado, a rooftop tent. That's a mean looking suburban right there. I actually like this. Look at the size of this thing. Alright, so here's a Chevy Tahoe. You mount this to your tire, and at first you don't know what it is, but it's actually a gearbox. It actually is a gearbox, you can open it up. There it is right here. Here it is right here. You put all your gear inside the back of your tire. Check out this Unimog over at the Optima booth. It's always nice to see these things. I've seen many of these, but it's always fun to see them again. That thing is cool. This is a crew cab version. It is big. Look at that thing. These axles look like telephone poles are so big. That's nice. I think the uh, German military uses these. This Raptor caught my eye. Well, for one, I love Raptors. For two, this is the uh, Rigid Raptor. So they got all kinds of cool stuff on this one. There's their uh, Ultra Swing. So it's a bumper, full tire, carrier, hitch kind of setup. And then they got an e-bike on here. This is a nice e-bike, man. S-Works Specialized. This is like a $10,000 e-bike sitting on the back of this thing. Full size spare, water, cutting board, fold out table. That's nice, man. I like their stuff. And then, especially with the frontier. Yeah, that's nice. And then, of course, they got a like a bed rack kind of system here with a go fast camper. 
I think it's a go fast. I think, yeah, it looks like a go fast. It's got that translucent roof and the beautiful hinges and the lockable sidewalls. That's nice. I love this bike. Honda Africa Twin. I love that bike. Look at the storage on this thing. It's a crazy roll cage there. Crash, crash bars. Ridge line. Here's a, uh, what is this? Passport? Whoa, check out this Chevy truck. Woo! Thing is a beast. Look at that. It's got a rear steer. Oh, here's a Hawk Custom Bronco. He always does up some pretty awesome projects. That's nice. This is the guy who did the Tomahawk Jeep a couple years back. But the uh, machine gun turbo intakes. It's got big humongous tires. Nice. Oh, check this out. I spotted this Patriot Campers adventure trailer over at the Tire Co. Inc. booth. And they got a motorcycle hitch on the back. And they got a Suron back here. But this is a Overland X Edition Suron electric motorcycle. That's nice. This is the X2 Camper by Patriot Campers out of Australia. It's beautiful. She got that articulating hitch right there. I got that sucker bent. <laughs> Overland Adventures. That's a nice looking Jeep. You're seeing less and less of the regular Jeeps. And more and more of the gladiators, but yeah, this is nice. It's a Rubicon. Beautiful. Check this out. So this is a 1966 Ford Bronco, an oldie but goodie. There's something going on under the hood. Actually, there's nothing going on under the hood because it's been electrified. <laughs> so it's still a four wheel drive with solid axles, but there's a battery there, a battery under the seats and a battery in the back. I was reading the little info thing there. It says it has 85 kilowatts of power. That's pretty nuts. See, look, there's all the batteries. Battery, 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 battery. It's a lot of batteries. Oops, excuse me. But uh, yeah, that's cool. I didn't even catch how many mile range it has, but I'm pretty. I'm sure it's pretty good because this thing's fairly light. But this is kind of nice because. You know, it's electric, you're saving on gas, but you can also go off-road with this thing, man. Let's kind of look at the inside here. That's nice. The leather dash, it's got the uh, old analog gauges and these uh, toggles and switches. That's so cool. And you still have gears. So it uses the gearbox still. That's cool. Yep, 
a look at a 1966 electric Ford Bronco. Here's another electric vehicle. This is the old VW thing. There's a big old battery underneath the hood. Not even a frunk. They used it for battery space. These are actually really cool. I like these. I know they got a bad reputation, but I like these. They got a reputation for not being too safe because they're kind of flimsy bodies. But I think they look cool. And then of course, in the back, there's your uh, electric motor and controllers and all that good stuff. Everything is going electric nowadays and you can electrify pretty much any vehicle now. Bicycles, motorcycles, cars, trucks, you can electrify everything. Man, I don't know the specs on this, but still it's pretty cool. The fact that you can uh, hop in this vehicle and not use a single drop of gas. I love it. Even if you can go just 100 miles around town, I think that's a pretty cool deal. Now this is cool. This is an old FJ40 Toyota Land Cruiser, obviously, right there. And instead of a V8 swap, they put electric motors in here. Look at that. So I was reading up on it a little bit. He was considering putting a big V8 in there but uh, a friend of the owner said hey why don't you go the other way and try electric it'd be a lot cheaper so he said I think he said it was he was able to do it for around 30,000 bucks which is still pretty cheap considering uh, how much you know a brand new crate engine and the labor and all that stuff cost to convert everything with all the custom work it's probably still a good deal and then the fact that you don't use any gas anymore no more tune-ups no more leaky seals no more rebuilds all that good stuff is all gone all the gas stuff is gone but now it's pretty much plug and play just change the brake pads and the tires and everything else is relatively maintenance free that is cool. I don't know the range on it. it didn't, the info didn't say what the range is on it. But yeah, that's awesome, man. An electrified old school Land Cruiser FJ40. Now, this is cool. I'm in the uh, Baja 1000 experience at SEMA. Look at this uh, little Volkswagen buggy with the fiberglass body. That is so cool. I wouldn't mind having one of these. You'd have a lot of fun with it, and they're not that expensive. And here's another one here. This one's set up for racing right here. Got some protection on the back for the motor, high lift jack, long travel suspension. Still only two wheel drive, yet it still can race in the Baja. That's nuts. And then uh, I don't know the history behind this one. It looks cool. What the heck is that? Some kind of... What is that? A fuel tank? I don't know what that is. You know what? Maybe that's extra fuel. So they can make it. Yeah, it says gas right on it. So I guess somebody built this back in the day to go race across the Baja Mexico Peninsula and brought a bunch of extra fuel tanks. <laughs> Instead of putting jerry cans, they put these fuel tanks. Maybe those are actually fuel tanks that go right to the motor right now. I don't know. That's crazy. Oh, sorry. Here's another uh, Bronco. Baby blue and white. It's kind of nice. What is that? Air, air design? That's pretty. My wife would like that probably, or my daughter. Seems like a girly girl setup, which is nice. Look at this one. Oh, look, he's got his top going up. Look at that. Oh, wow, look how fast that thing goes. Boom. And then he brings it down and he locks it up. That's nice. This is the uh, 
my top. And then that's him uh, popping it open. Look how fast that was. That was nice. One big thing I think was an oversight from, from Ford here is these hinge covers. So oh. they have a patent pending on it. <laughs> so look at how ugly these things are. Even if it's freaking painted. You know what I mean? Like, Even so if it's painted, it's ugly. Yeah, yeah. We, we have a patent pending for the cover yeah. here. Um, That's a first. I've never seen that before. Yeah, so we're going <laughs> to... It makes it nice and clean. It does, yeah. That's and I mean, cool. it's a vehicle that's advertised to have... No, no doors. doors. Yeah, yeah so. it should be pretty. It should look good. Yeah. Exactly. I like so. it. Check it out, I found a Vorshear off-road teardrop camper at SEMA. This is nice, man, really. Beautiful. You know, some people say they want to go with composite all the time because wood, you know, is wood. You know, it deteriorates over time. But you know what? If you do it right, the wood can be treated and last forever for the most part, at least for a couple generations take care of it and it looks beautiful too i love the look and feel of wood you got whiskey and cigars in there <laughs> they got their cooler this looks like an ice co cooler they got gentex corporation on here but this looks exactly like an ice co cooler you got hot and cold water two burner propane stove swing away tire carrier with their table. I'm assuming, assuming you can open this up, bring this down. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. It's got a hitch there for adding bike carriers. They got a shovel. Nice wheels. Brixton wheels. High lift jack. That's a beefy carrier. Summit machine. Looks like you got stabilizers. Two jerry can holder. You got a ladder that goes to the top. I noticed Vorshear is known for the, their ladders. Like right? that's like kind of like a signature feature for the Vorshear trailers. Really heavy duty diamond plate fenders. You can step on those fenders. That's nice. I don't think these fenders are bolted into the wall. Sometimes I see the fenders are bolted through the wall and then they have big washers. I think this fender just goes right here on the frame because I don't see any washers on the inside of the wall there. That's pretty cool. Very nice. LED lights, really beefy rack with a 23-0 rooftop tent up top. And then you got the axleless suspension. That's nice. So you get really high ground clearance. I really like the fact that you have this big step here that goes to the fender. Rock sliders here to protect the frame. Look at the craftsmanship on this frame. That's nice. Cargo box for your propane, most likely. I'm assuming it's for propane. And then more cargo boxes just for general gear. Nope. Oops, sorry. And then here's a look on the inside. Beautiful woodwork on the inside. Looks like you could fit a tall person in here. You could probably fit a six foot person in there. LED lights, speakers, vent. It even has an AC. This one has a CD player. Power ports, storage. That's nice. I don't know what this is. Something with the tap. Uh, hot and cold water. That must be your on demand shower. Here's your propane for the hot water. But yeah, that's a look at the uh, Vorshear off road teardrop trailer, man. That's nice. Very nice. Love it. Yeah, 
Here's a nice Chevy Silverado at the Gentex Corporation booth. You know, the uh, Ford Raptors and the uh, Ram T-Rex, they get all the attention out here. And even the Tacomas, they get all the attention out here at SEMA. But you know what? These Chevys are pretty nice. This one has a Stealth Fighter bumper, which I, I really like that Stealth Fighter look. It comes all the way down, protects your uh, cross members and subframe. Dirt King A arms, Fox Resis. That's nice. Some kind of carbon fiber hood thing going on there. Got a black matte wrap. These wheels are cool, man. Look at those wheels. Looks like they have electronic steps. I like that rack. They got a drone up there. Very nice. Beautiful interior. Oh, look at their rearview mirror. That's what uh, Gen Tex is probably famous for is their mirrors. I really like that rearview mirror, man. That is nice. Comes in handy too when you have all this gear in the back. You can't see out your rearview mirror, anyways. But with their uh, technology, you get to see everything back here. Oh, look at those exhausts. <laughs> Lightener rack. Fuel and water. Yeah, that's beautiful. Good job, Chevy. It's a beautiful truck. I think I've seen this one before. It's the GMC Canyon AT4 concept. I'm here at SEMA in Las Vegas and spotted this one. This is nice. That is a beautiful looking truck. We've got beadlock wheels. These are AEV wheels. Look at these uh, branch deflectors. Oh, look at that. There's actually a light on the fender. That's cool. There's another one right here. I guess those are like markers. I wonder if this is a factory. It does look like a factory bumper. So. What it looks like, you got tow hooks, obviously, and there's a winch. There's like this little bull bar with an LED light in there. Here's your winch controller. That is actually pretty nice, man. They are gunning for Tacomas. They really want to take away some of that market share, and I think this is a good truck to do that. If you're tired of the uh, sea, of Toyota Tacomas everywhere and you want something different this GMC is nice there's your intake oh that is beautiful look at that uh, cocoa brown leather AT4 and a headrest carbon fiber parts in there that's really nice there's your folding table you get to camp you set it all up Here's all your uh, camping gear for picnics, alu cab awning. Very, very nice. Got the deck system there for all your stuff. Dometic fridge. Auto home rooftop tent, TP style. That's nice, man. Really nice. What do we got here? Another adventure trailer. And what is this vehicle? What is this? Oh, this is a... This is an Expedition. Ford Expedition. That is beautiful. Full-size SUV. Looks like uh, just the stock bumper. Boba has an LED though. The limb deflectors, if you're wondering. Keeps your windshield from getting smashed. It's nice. I like this uh, this wrap. Look at the size of that panel. Oh my god. It's the size of a laptop. 
Beautiful interior. I believe that because the uh, it's charger the for the solar. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We have, uh, what is this? Ops Public Safety Mobile Workspace Systems. I never heard of these guys. Look at that. Lots of storage. Oh, look. You can, you can convert it into a sleeping area. Super simple. Just fold the seats down and you got a bed. And because it's an expedition, that's a big bed. <laughs> Thank you for putting the lights, by the way. This is nice. And then back here, here's your adventure trailer with your uh, fridge, storage, canoe, bike, spare tire, fuel. Oh, it's a turtle expedition trailer. I like these guys. I like these guys because of the horseshoe shaped design that they have. Prep area, sink, cooking, and more prep. That's nice. Everything's right there. Very cool. Here's the Pittman booth. These guys make tents. So this looks like that one that just can be set up in like seconds. You just unfold it and it kind of sets itself up. That's cool. I wouldn't mind having one of those, even though I'm not a big ground tent camper. Having one that unfolds on its own in like five seconds, it's kind of a big deal. Here's a smaller one. It's like an emergency shelter, really. Emergency swag, as they say in uh, Australia. Here's your air beds. They're famous for their air bed. Oh, that's nice. I got to get one of these for the new Tundra, man. We got them. Oh, you got them already. Nice. The 2022, huh? Oh man, that's gonna be awesome. You got a five and a half foot bed, right? Or five foot bed? Well, the, they're gonna come with both five and a half and six. Yeah, uh, we have five and a half, we have six foot type of thing. So. Nice. Very cool. Oh, you guys make these too, right? Yeah, we do the yeah. tents too. This is uh, a look at their. Yeah, I like the fabrics of them. So uh, I'm assuming that's what, canvas or yeah. what is it? Yeah. And it's like water resistant? Yeah. Plus it's got the built in LED lights up there. It's got the skylights in them. Oh, nice. You can actually see in there. Yeah. yeah. Can I look up in there? Yeah, go ahead. That's almost a queen size bed up there, man. Yeah. This thing is huge. Yeah, I like that. And then you have a little awning here, too. Yeah, this, you have the annex actually going Little too. annex, yeah. right? Yeah, you can cover this all up. Yeah, this has a bottom floor and everything. How much do you guys' tents yeah. usually sell for? These are like 16 to 17 dollars Sounds about right, yeah. 19 with the annex. Yeah. That's cool. Where are you guys based out of? California. Oh, okay. You guys aren't that far away. Yeah. Very nice. I like this Jeep, man. Your Gladiator is That's beautiful. Nice. Very nice. Got the Rhino wheels. Those are probably what, 40s maybe? 40s. Yeah, they are 40s, huh? Huge. That's actually a really good fit for this yeah. truck. That is beautiful. I just got the new six pack shocks out of it. Oh, yeah? I love these. Oh, I haven't seen those. What is that? So those are just basically uh, a different kind of shock, yeah. right? I've never seen those before. That is wild. These are just coming out. So They're made by who? Six? Medical. Oh, Medical. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. Let me get a better shot of that. Thanks a lot. No problem, I appreciate it. Check out this shock by Metal Cloak. I've actually never seen these shocks before. That's interesting. Oh, look at this. That is a cool work of art right there. So I think I'm looking at a diesel engine. That is a diesel with a turbo. That's cool. It's a rat rod. But then look at this. He put a track system on the back. <laughs> That's crazy. It's slammed. It's got a diesel and it's got a half track setup. That's the nuts. What's up, guys? I'm at SEMA and I spotted something I never seen before. I don't think I remember seeing Nissan at SEMA before. So here's the official Nissan booth. And they got a lot of new stuff. So here's a Nissan Frontier. This is new. That's a good looking truck. A lot of people say it looks like a Tacoma. 
That's a good looking truck though. They they went they did their homework and definitely um came up with a good design. That's nice. My wife used to own a Frontier way back in the day. And it was a nice truck. I like that design though. That's nice. Simple, clean, kind of old school really. This one has a little steel bull bar kind of bumper in the front. I guess you can keep the stock bumper but still add a winch right there. You can put a winch right there. You got tow hooks, openings for LEDs. It even says Nismo on it. That's cool. That's a nice color too. Ditch lights. There's no rock sliders. Front runner rack. Nismo off-road rooftop tent. I wonder who actually makes that tent. That's a nice looking truck, man. I like it. Let's walk around the rest of the booth. What is this? This must be a Pathfinder. This is the new Pathfinder. That's nice. <laughs> Again, with the little stubby bumper in the front. Oh, here's your uh, radar information. Uh, that's like the little window for your radar. Looks like you still have some sensors going on here. Rigid LEDs. For the most part, your factory uh, bumper is still, still being used. Nismo wheels, Maxxis tires. Nismo steps. Probably not real rock sliders. Because you're not really, really going to rock slide or uh, rock crawl this thing. That's nice. Oh, look, they got a bed set up in the back. So you can uh, sleep back here. I like it. There's your roof rack with LEDs, cargo boxes. Oh, and then you just strap it in there. That's really nice. no, this nothing. is like a plug and play camper. That's, that's your big one right there. People do not want to go, not two burner stove, they don't want to come sink. There. So they're happy that they can you know, nice. want it. I remember seeing these guys exactly. at Overland Expo, exactly. Ego E. So that's, it's, it's a, it fits a real definite niche in the market right now. That's cool. That kit, Ego E. You can just plug it into any vehicle without modifying anything. It gives you a sleeping platform and everything underneath it is where all your uh, camping gear is stored. Alright, here's the performance side. Here's the, the all new Z. Look at that. That's beautiful. Little tiny compact sports car is supposed to be affordable for most people that was their big selling point in the old days 400 horsepower v6 twin turbo six speed manual ah it's getting harder and harder to find manual transmission new cars in 2021 so your selection is getting limited that's nice that nissan is still making manual transmissions there's a drift car That's pretty badass. Wide body kit. Here's the old Z. That's so cool. I like how they have the uh, mirrors way out in front. So here's the old Z and there's the new Z. And it actually looks very similar. I kind of like how they kept it very similar to the old one. A lot of times you lose the look and feel when you go to a modern park. That's nice. So here's a, another shot of that Halo Warthog out in the open. Oh man, this is beautiful. So I know guys have already been leaving comments saying, oh yeah, the, the video game Warthog would flip if you just breathed on it. I don't care. Still looks badass. Look at that windshield, man. That is so cool. 
Warthog hog come to life. What they need is some machine guns on this thing, man. That is so cool. It's got hydraulic steer so you can crab walk. Basically steer from the rear. They tried to get the interior fairly close to the video game. Look at that shifter. And the seats. Those headrests look like they would hurt. <laughs> and that roll cage, man, look at that thing. That is nuts, man. Gotta admit, it looks mean as hell. Look at that hydraulic steering. <laughs> it's so cool.